Hi everyone, welcome back on my channel. Today we'll see the context transition in Power BI. So let's understand the requirement first. This is the requirement sheet. Here we have given the one Power BI file in which file we have the product table. So in the product table, we have these four columns, product ID, product name, animal and the legs. Then we need to calculate the three other columns and we'll need to add the three calculated columns in this table. Okay. So for calculating these columns, we need to add the sumx DAX function. So what sumx do is for summing any cells or any quantity or any column, we can use the sumx. It is in the row context. So if we use the sumx, it will give us the values in the row context. For each row, it is calculating the cells. Okay. So we need to add these three columns naming total cells so total cells the, the total cells across the entire database then cells for product we need to calculate the cells for each product and then we need to divide it to divide these two calculated columns to calculating the product contribution percentage okay so after calculating these columns we need to add that in one table and we need to show one table like this okay so let's see it in power bi how to create this table and how to add the calculated columns okay so first of all we need to we need to join these two tables so we have the product and purchase table so in the purchase table we have given the total cells okay so for calculating this total cells we need to uh, we need to join this two table first so i have joined it on the product id this is the many to one relationship and then we need to go to the report view and from here we need to create the new column so if you will click on this new column then you will get this column here so first of all we need to write the column name so total cells is the column name then we need to write the equals to and then we need to add that sumx function here and in the sumx function we need to calculate the total cells so it is coming from the purchase table so uh, for sumx the syntax is like for first of all we need to give the table name and then the table name and the column name in that table okay so this is the table name this is the purchase table name and then from that table name we need to calculate the total cells so here we are taking the total cells from that purchase and then we need to click enter on the then it will calculate the total cells so we have calculated the total cells here and then next column we need to create is cells for products okay so for calculating the cells for each product we need to add the filter context here so we need to use the calculate function cells for product is the column name equals to calculate function and then we need to add the sum of total cells and in the filter context we need to add the product id so that it will give us the values according to the product ids okay So here, uh, this calculate function is mainly used for the calculating and changing the filter context. Okay. So here we have the calculate function and then we calculated the sum of total cells and we are giving the filter to the each products so that we can able to see the product wise cells. Okay. After that, we need to calculate the product contribution. So for calculating product contribution, we need to add that product contribution name to that column. Then we need to add the equals to then from this product table, we need to take this cells for product that we have calculated now. This column divided by total cells so that we can able to find the percentage of that product contribution. Okay, so then we need to add that calculated columns. So we need to create the table like this so then we need to add this add the product name add the, this product name then this animal then the legs then the total cells then cells for product and product contribution so we need to drag and drop that here in the column section in this visual table visual okay so that we can able to see this in table and uh, for showing this product contribution in the percentage we need to just click on this product contribution column 
and from here we need to set it in the percentage okay so you need to go to the column and then we need to see select this percentage icon so that we can able to see it in the percentage okay so in this way we can calculate this uh, columns by using the sum and sum x function and we can use the calculate function to calculating the sum sum of particular cells as per the products okay so this is all about this video we'll see the next dax functions in the power bi in the next videos till that take care bye bye please do like share and subscribe my channel and don't miss to press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of my upcoming videos thank you for watching this video